So this is the second video in the series. This is where we talk about editing. You know, so many people are focused on what do I need in order to capture my gameplay footage, and they don't really think ahead to the other steps. And uh, you know, one of the most important uh, steps in uh, becoming a director or a videographer or whatever is to be able to piece your footage together in order to make it something that people want to watch. So this video isn't a step-by-step -step. how exactly do I use Sony Vegas Pro 10 which is what I'm going to be showing you today and which is what I use uh, because you may be using a different editor out there. So what I'm going to do is just give you some general tips for editing, some things you want to consider when you're piecing your information together. If you want to learn how exactly to use your particular editor, whether you're using uh, Movie Maker or something on the Mac or Sony Vegas, do a search on YouTube and I guarantee you there's probably a tutorial that shows you exactly what to do uh, with whatever it is that you're trying to do, whether you want to do slow motion or you know whatever. I've basically taught myself everything I know through watching YouTube tutorials. So I know the information is out there and I know it's good information. Uh, so with that being said, I am not a professional. Uh, these are just things and tips that I've learned along the way and uh, so now I'm going to pass it on to you. So uh, what, what, uh, one thing you want to realize is that um, if you're doing a montage, for instance, that takes a lot of work. Uh, people you know, always want to do montages and you got to think that people uh, a lot of times are playing hours upon hours grabbing footage and trying to piece the good clips together because you don't want to have any dull moments in your clips because people just aren't going to watch it. Uh, but uh, if you're doing like a commentary, sometimes you have to play several times before you get good footage of what you're wanting to commentate on. And it's always best to have you know footage playing of what it is that you're talking about because people can relate to that, they can see that, and it just uh, is a lot better uh, you know effect. So really what I'm trying to say is that you know this takes a lot of work. So for instance, um, these are a bunch of clips that I got uh, the other day while I was trying to create a video or a tutorial or whatnot. And uh, you know, if, if I'm trying to make a montage, uh, I'll try to stop the video recorder at the end of the clip. So if something just happens, like some big explosion, then I say, hey, I want that in my video. What I'll do is I'll stop the recorder and that way when I pull it in to my video editor, I know that the good footage is at the end of the clip and I don't have to waste hours going back through all this gameplay. Uh, if I have something that maybe is a long clip, maybe I'm doing a commentary and I'm doing it on snipers. Uh, if I if I have a good game, I'll record it a game at a time. If I have a good game, I'll stop it and I'll take the time to rename that clip. For instance, I renamed this one. Uh, this may not make any sense to you, but uh, what it meant to me was at the beginning of the movie, I've got a pistol kill, uh, and at the end of it, I've got a pretty cool SVD sniper kill. Uh, so um, this particular footage was where I showed people on Battlefield Vietnam how you can uh, miss with the sniper shot, pull out your pistol and shoot. Uh, so that's what that means. All these others that I don't have named, these I can just delete. I don't have to waste time. So you're, you're going to realize that if you really want to do this, it is very time consuming and so you want to pull out all the little tricks that you can in order to cut down the amount of time that you're spending editing and piecing it together because if you don't uh, it's going to be more of a chore and you have less time playing video games uh, which I do now anyway uh, and you're going to be spending all your time trying to piece together information so if you're making montages you know stop the clip at the end uh, where when you have something cool which means you have to sit here and you have to be ready to play with your recorder while you're playing the game or otherwise you know uh, run a level at a time at the end of each match stop it and you know say was that a good clip if so name it uh, put what was in there uh, and uh, then move on so um, for instance this like I said is just a bunch of junk once you grab your footage and you want to pull it in here, uh, once again, this is Sony Vegas 10, uh, and, and this is actually the footage that you're going to be seeing uh, once I piece all this together. So I'm going back and I just recorded the intro to this video. 
Uh, and you'll notice the first thing is we have a preview window and it's got black bars. So whatever editor you're using, figure out how to make it so that there are no black bars in your video. I'm, I'm telling you, people hate to see not the whole picture. Uh, so you don't want to have black bars on your video, whether it be on the top and bottom or whether it be on the sides. Uh, in Sony Vegas 10, this is an easy fix because what I could do is right click on it, go down here to properties, and I want to undo maintain aspect ratio. Uh, and what that's going to do is it's kind of going to kind of distort it just a little bit but it's not enough to where it makes a big difference and honestly I'd rather have the full screen picture. There's probably other ways of doing it but that's the way that I do it. Now having your footage all together uh, you want to be sure that if you're going through here and you're doing a commentary for instance sometimes I'll go through here and I'll set up an audio track and I'll just record my voice and I'll sit here and I'll talk like I am right now and then I'll go back and I'll play that track and then try to capture footage to go along with that uh, with my commentary you want to be sure that you go through and you delete or edit any of your commentary that maybe wasn't good maybe you had a long pause that way you don't have to start back over at the very beginning you just edit that out uh, and then sometimes I have a, a video clip and I do it the complete opposite where I'll have this video clip up here playing and I'll then record my voice to uh, uh, by watching the video clip so I'll talk about whatever I'm seeing on film so you can do it you know a number of different ways and I use both of these techniques depending on what exactly it is that I'm trying to do so uh, once you get all your information together and you piece it together and you've got all your little transitions in, you want to be sure that you know you try to make it as professional looking as possible. Uh, once again, cut out any dull parts of the video clip, um, and uh, also be sure that uh, you know you have the information in there that you want in there that's going to be something that people want to sit there and they want to listen to and they want to watch. Um, if you're done piecing it together uh, then comes the part of rendering it and you know you want to be sure that you render it to something that's going to show up in high definition on other websites whether it be on Blip or YouTube. Um, this is the setting that I usually use. Uh, I usually uh, put it on WMV and uh, this is my template that I'm using and I usually always have this stretch video to fill output frame uh, and you can hit custom and see exactly how everything's set up. Uh, VBR uh, I choose this uh, once again this is only for Vegas users but um, you'll see that I have mine set up at 1280 by 720 and I've got the audio at VBR. It used to when I used to do CBR, it used to uh, sometimes have like a popping noise. So uh, I really don't even know what the difference is. I just know that that's what I put it on. And this one actually is CBR. And there you'll see all the settings right here. And my project is always set to render at the best quality. And that way whenever I put it up to these other sites that you're watching it on, uh, it always shows up and HD. So that's you know really all I got as far as tips without getting into a, a whole lot of detail as far as you know how to piece everything together you know there's just a, a few different ways you can do it you can record your audio and then add video to it or uh, you know have your video and then add your audio to it uh, as, if you're doing commentary you want to be sure that you have no black screens you want to be sure that you're rendering in a, a way that's going to set it up to where uh, it's going to show up on other channels as being in HD. Uh, and you want to be sure that you have good footage that's uh, going to be worthwhile. Uh, consider that if you're sitting there and you're watching this video and you didn't make it, is it a good video? Would you sit there and would you watch it all or would you turn it off about halfway through? 
I realize for this video, probably half the people turn it off about halfway through because this one is kind of boring, but it's it's hard to make this stuff exciting. Uh, this is just, you know, all information. But uh, anyway, that wraps it up for this particular video. Keep in mind that, you know, starting off, you're going to start off with, uh, you know, videos that aren't so hot if you've never done this before. I go back and I watch some of my earlier videos and I think, wow, I've, I've come a long way. Uh, and I still have a ways to go. Uh, but don't be discouraged, you know, try to stay positive about it, and uh, hopefully it will all work out for you. Uh, also consider, you know, even if you're not the best game player, uh, people who make montages and they people comment on their videos, they think, oh, they're so great at the game, or, you know, even on mine, they say, oh my god, you're a god at this game. you got to consider and think about the fact that several of us record hours to get that one good game that we can show and that we record that you know has good um, qualities about it and not every game is like that and not everybody is a god every single time they jump into a game so don't be discouraged with that and uh, you know stick with reality and uh, hopefully you'll do well if you want more tips tricks hints head on over to battlestrats.com thanks for watching